junkfoodtaster.com. Yeah, I, I reviewed all the spears in the German episode and it took me so long because of six spears. I hadn't time to make it in English, so I make it now in English. Hmm. Yeah, a complete video, only English. Yeah, um, now uh, I made the German episode. Um, I have like started to drunk in the six beers, and now I'm drunk. Him. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> so this is the first drunken, completely drunken review. Like I make a, I made an alcohol test in the bar, and therefore I got drunk to make the alcohol test. But now I'm like really drunken. Um, yeah. So uh, if so, in Munich, in now it's September, but it's called the October first. And this is a, and in every year in the September they have the October first. In Munich. And this is a big celebration. A million of visitors. I just heard a, a like a former colleague of mine is visiting the fest three times. So it's a little bit of cheating there. So, um, but has uh, officially it's a million of you uh, visitors. So and and you have like um, party going on there um, with like um, roller coasters stuff like this. But also you have six. I think you have six dedicated drink uh, tents, and this. Six tenths resemble the six Munich brewers, breweries. Yeah, and I have got all of them here with me today. Uh, the first is, uh, this is probably the most famous, is the Paulana. Sorry guys, I'm really drunk right now. Uh, <laughs> and this is a dedicated beer, the Oktoberfest beer. Yeah. So this would be equivalent of the stuff you get on the Oktoberfest in their tent. Okay, um, I don't know, like you, you have also a celebration, marching formation, stuff like this. And yeah. I don't know whether they have this only on the first day or, or like within this is two weeks. Oktoberfest is two weeks. So this is uh, the top uh, the cover. Yeah, this is monk. Okay, I will drink it. I'm completely drunk, but I will drink it anyway. Okay, uh, the next thing in the aisle is um, the Hofbräu and this is also a dedicated Oktoberfest beer um, yeah and look at this they made it after the Bavarian uh, rules there are normally they are German rules but they say the Bavarian rules this is very interesting also haven't mentioned this in the German episode Okay, um, Munich beer. Yeah, this is all Munich only. There's another very famous the Erdinger, but the Erdinger is from Erding, not from Munich. Yeah, but take a shot from the Hofbräu. Mm. Yeah, the Hofbräu is nasty. All, although I'm very drunk, I still recognize that the Hofbräu. It's a little bit nasty. Yeah, gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah, I could like have a shot here again. Yeah, uh, if you want to make this fancy, as this video experience, just start a second viewer video with Bavarian music. Unfortunately, I cannot play Bavarian music now because I don't have licenses to play any music here. Okay, now comes the Spartan. The Spartan is very interesting. It's a spade. Yeah, the spade. And it's very old. All the spears are very old. The youngest is the Paulana. The 
it's the youngest. Look at this, uh, and it's from um, sixteen thirty-four. This is the youngest, and the oldest is I think this guy here, the um, Augustiner. Uh, so Augustiners are an old Christian organization, and they are from thirteen twenty-eight. So here, here it says it's the oldest brewery of Munich. Fancy, isn't it? So, but this is the last one. Now it's a Spartan, the spade, the Munich spade. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't found a dedicated Oktoberfest beer. This is now the. It's it says hell. It doesn't mean hell. It mean it means like hell in German is not the devil's place, but um, uh, it means light. It means the complete opposite. It means uh. The light, yeah, the bright. It means Munich bright. Okay, it's a Spartan. If you want to know the ratings, please check out the German episode. Okay, oh, I'm really drunk now, completely. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot imagine like so many people and getting drunk. I'm a little bit a, uh, I'm a little bit of a uh, like um, sissy, and I want to get drunk in like a, a, a at least not in a hostile environment, in a, in a safe environment. Like if you go to Oktoberfest, you will recognize like people lying on the ground, completely drunken. Like vomiting in in, in there is there vomit, the stuff which can comes out when you're vomiting and said this. I think it's this. I was never there. I should go there and film them. <laughs> no, I shouldn't then because like personality rights and stuff like this is not a good idea. So the next big thing in the aisle is the Löwenbräu. Oh, <coughs> oh sorry. <laughs> No, I'm not really sorry, it's that like... In Germany we have Entschuldigung and sorry. And people started to use uh, sorry. Uh, but when somebody in German says sorry, uh, he doesn't want to say Entschuldigung. It's like a minor form of Entschuldigung. Okay, um, this is a dedicated beer again. This is like the stuff you would get when you are there. And you get it served by a fair-haired German um, woman with big breasts. And this is a typical um, uniform. It's like the, it's called the Dirndl. And all the women you, who have, uh, who visit the Oktoberfest have to buy a Dirndl. Or at least this is, a, this is a tradition. Yeah. And all the males have to wear a special... Um, uh, they have a uniform as well. It's called the Lederhose. The leather uh, trousers. Okay, Löwenbräu. Oh God, I'm drunk. Yeah, what do you think about this drunk episodes? Do you recognize that I'm drunken right now? We had a scandal in Germany. There was a TV star on a talk show, drunken. What's the problem of being drunken, guys? It's cool. Yeah, alcohol is like a drug, but it's like a socially um, accepted drug, isn't it? Like not accepted drugs are like cocaine or heroin or weed but alcohol is accepted guys yeah like people like Glitchko go to the Oktoberfest the boxer okay and this is the, the cover of the Löwenbräu they have all fancy covers don't if you say don't tell me like I should send you the covers one guy just said like I was reviewing like energy drinks and he uh, told me, can you send me the can? No, no, I can't send you the can. 
Oh, sorry guys, one I uh, reviewed Kit Kat Chunky and Hazelnut. And one guy from America asked me whether I could send him this because he hasn't got this hazelnut, Kit Kat Chunky hazelnut in his country in the States. So, but sorry, I cannot send you anything, guys. I'm not. I'm, I'm not a. Res uh, uh, I'm not a retailer. I'm like a junk food taster, guys. I'm just tasting it, make you envy, and then you have to, yeah, yeah, go on with your life. Uh, Okay, now this next thing is very interesting. It comes in this, this like if you can see the mechanism here is different. They have this um, uh, this cover, this cover mechanism. This have this um, handle. They have this handle. This is really nice. And basically, you can make fun with it. You shake it, so the carbon comes out, and you can make fun of it. Like, look at this. Ah, yes, it doesn't work. Oh, okay. It's like fun of it. Yeah, now all the form, not the form in the bottle here. And the name is so amazing. Look at this. It's a hacker. All your little Linux hackers. C++. No one is knowing. Like, if any, do any one of you know C++? Java? C? C Sharp? What else is there? PHP? No one knows about this. Not my viewers. Okay, it's Munich Hell again. It's not Hell. It's not the Satan's place. It's like Munich Bright. Unfortunately, I haven't found a dedicated Oktoberfest beer from Hegapture. Hegapture. Look at this logo. Very militaristic. Must be some wood hackers or something. Yeah, it's it's a it's I it's not what you get in the uh, Oktoberfest tent. It's something different, but it's hack up pure. So come on, oh come to me, hacker. Mm. Okay, like I'm the only guy in the world who can get drunken on work normally if you drink on work you get fired you get um, suspended like my job is to drink on work so I have a good job haven't I okay the hacker hasn't got a top it says oh, the top is attached on the handle look at this ah uh, yeah two minutes left guys yeah, I could really talk for hours. Oh. This is what, like Steve Jobs and I have something in common. We can like talk to people timelessly. Okay, and this last one is Augustina, the oldest one. Uh, I already mentioned this. Yeah, this is my Sony cam. My Sony cam is very nice. Yeah. Do you want to view this hole? Yeah, nice. Okay, I show you every hole now. For whatever reason. My Sony cam has a disadvantage. It makes noises. No viewer ever complained about the noises the Sony cam makes. So, so much for this. But it shoots extremely good images. Yeah. A HD super HD images, yeah, like no no other cam in this price category. So the junk food taster is really expert in delivering HD images. This is like my numbers I use to make the numbers. Oh, I have to hurry up. Only forty seconds left for the Augustina. Okay, Augustina, old monk. Uh, a lot of. Uh, labels here it's not a dedicated one again it's like uh, only three of them were dedicated okay let's do this augustino oh very good so i hope you enjoyed this review and stay tuned with the junk taster you may 
visit the Oktoberfest and see you soon guys.